hello friends and welcome back so in today's video we are going to learn about steps in the analysis so what is steps in the analysis that we will learn in this video okay so uh, let's get started so i am taking one example here that is one cantilever beam on which 50 newton is applied so if we do the analysis so we will get some result in which cantilever beam is deflected by some deformation x so this is the analysis is a single step analysis why so at the time zero there is no force acting on the cantilever beam so this analysis is carried out in the one second zero to one second so during this uh, one second this load is going to increase from zero to 50 linearly so that will increase to 50 so at one second we will get the result what is the last step result will be the deformation and this analysis is carried out for 0 to 1 second so if we see step in this analysis are 1 so current step is also 1 because there is only one step and the total time for this is 1 second so what are the diff next step so we will see So what are the steps in the analysis? So I am uh, taking small examples here. So this is the 2 second analysis. So where from 0 to 1 load is increasing from 0 to 50 Newton. And in second step that is second 1 to 2 second this load is remaining constant. So this is the second step. So this analysis will be a 2 second analysis. Again, it is a static analysis itself. These are the two static analysis. So in some analysis, it may be like that. There is no force during this one uh, second. So there may be a different uh, application we can use. And from one to two second, there will be force increasing gradually to 50 Newton. So here are the number of steps are two. So we can define this in analysis from zero to one, how it is the load and from 1 to 2 how it is the load and so on so this example has number of steps equal to 2 so we will take some examples here so here is one structure so you can have any assembly which is having bolted structure so while making that uh, structure we will bolt that structure initially with some preload so bolts are loaded preloaded tightened and uh, there is a preload and after uh, bolting we will apply some force on that so this is the problem definition so there are two bolts and which is tightened after that there is a force applied on this surface so how this is solved in the two steps because in initial step 0 to 1 we will apply bolt pretension to to these two bolts so this is the bolt pretension so bolt pretension increase from 0 to 1 so this is 1 second 0 to 1000 Newton 1000 Newton is the value for the bolt pretension now from 1 to 2 once we have tightened these bolts we will keep as it is there is no change or no removal of a pretension so this tension will remain constant throughout the second time frame so this is load remaining constant now after the pretension we are applying some force so this is the force graph so 0 to 1 second we are not applying force this is a pretension bolt pretension and from 1 to 2 we are applying force so this force is increasing gradually to the maximum value of force f so these are the two step analysis where bolt pretension and applied force are considered so combining these two analysis so these are defined independently in the analysis and we will get the combined graph where bolt pretension will increase in the first step while force will be zero and in the next step bolt pretension will be remain lock we can set it as a lock and force will increase from zero to the maximum value so these are the two step analysis so to get more information we will see one more example 
so here is the problem definition here is one uh, bush and here is one shaft so if we see the shaft diameter is 20 but the hole on the bush is 19.5 so how we are going to fit that shaft into this bush so there is an alternative method so we will heat this bush to certain degrees so that it will try to expand and it will expand by 0.5 once it expand by 0.5 its whole diameter becomes 20 in that scenario we will push this shaft inside so that it will get into bush and we will cool it down whole assembly we will cool it down so that there will be a press fit because hole will try to regain into its original position of 19.5 while sharp 20 will not allow and there will be some stresses will be generated here and whatever uh, whatever your application is working out so how we are going to do this in the analysis so first step is heating from 0 to 1 degree in that case we are keeping this shaft at this position where it is not entering into the hole and we are heating with some temperature so thermal analysis we will do and in this step once it uh, temperature increases to some limit and there will be some deformation in that step this displacement of the shaft will come in the picture so from the initially shaft will be at the initial position so once one second over so it will try to move inside so we will define how much displacement is there so that is defined here and from 0 to 1 that will be displacement will be there so at the end of 2 second temperature is remaining constant here but shaft is moved inside the bush now next step is the cooling down so at this position shaft will remain at the constant so shaft is not going to move anywhere now so this is constant but temperature is going to reduce to the normal temperature or room temperature so this is the cooling so this is a combine of a three step analysis so likewise there are number of steps so you can take 5, 5 uh, 7 19 like that so depends on the application or depends on the problem definition of analysis hope you have learned something so thank you for watching please subscribe like and comment if you have any queries thank you